Okay, everybody, the bearded prepper here again. Thought I'd bring you a different view of third world setting. This is what it takes to keep your compound safe. You have to put spikes and razor ribbon surrounding your compound because you got right on the other side, you know, just a variety of people from wooden metal roof houses to handmade block. I mean, just simple shelters. You look at that soil. I mean, it's, there's some crops growing down there. I don't think you can see it, but it's a tough existence out in the real world. You know, if you're trying to protect what you have from those that are just desperate, it's, uh, it's a tough concept. So make sure you're prepared. You know, I've talked to you about not only food, I've talked to you about safety, about, you know, what people are like when they don't have. When you don't have the resources to raise on a large scale, the way we've become accustomed to in the U.S., this is what you get. I hope you all have an opportunity someday to practice your skills in this kind of setting where people just don't have and you don't have the modern conveniences. You don't have access to fertilizer. You have to make your own, rotate your crops so they're replenishing and removing from the soil like legumes and corn. And, um, you know, economic preparation is non-existent for most people. I'll bring you more as I start really digging my hands in the dirt, literally, and we start planting some seeds and preparing to uh, help the folks I'm here with to better their situation. Until next time, God bless. The Bearded Prepper out.